Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making 20 last minute Christmas cards using the Club EP Happy Christmas Kit. I want to show you guys how to make quick and simple cards just by using one 6x6 paper pad, a couple embellishments and ribbons which are optional and some paper just to make it look like you spent so much time on it but you really didn't. So I brought in some gold foil and silver foil sheets from Michaels. They are reasonably priced, pretty inexpensive I think like for 25 sheets it's $5.99 but when I bought this it was like a 20 per an extra 20% off so it was a really good deal and then I also brought in a cardstock to match my paper so I brought in a cherry cobbler cardstock from Stampin' Up. Now the pearls that I'll be using which are also optional are called silver foil pearls and gold foil pearls from Studio Katia. Now I won't be doing any stamping whatsoever in these cards. I am using all of the cut aparts that came with the paper pad and I was able to use up almost all of them. I think I have four cut aparts left. So you you can make well more than uh, 20 cards. I think with the leftover card stock that I have, um, I would say I have about, I could make about 10 more cards with it, um, but I will have to use sketches. So I'll just go back to that another day. But for now, what I did was I trimmed the papers to four by five and a quarter, um, like all of them. So I have 20 of them. And then I used some of the backings of it, um, which are like two by five and a quarter. And then I matted it two and one eighths by five and a quarter. Like I just gave all of them like a one eighth inch border for my matting, like for my gold foil, as well as my cherry cobbler cardstock. Um, I usually like it a quarter inch, but I wanted to see what it would look like with the uh, one eighth inch border. So if I had to do this over again, I would probably pick to have a uh, quarter inch border only because I want to show off that gold foil even more. But for the most part, I am happy with this. And this took me probably five hours to make because you know I had to I had to you know the cutting and the assembling so give yourself about five hours or more or less um to make these cards and like I said before it is last minute Christmas cards if you're in a crafty mood you just want to relax this is a great way to use up your six by six paper pads or your cut aparts from your 12 by 12 sheets and just make cards. And the secret to this, like to me, like how I was planning this, is it really makes a difference when you mat your uh, paper, especially when you use specialty pa paper, like the silver foil sheets, as well as the gold foil sheets. And you don't really have to use those, the really expensive thick ones, because you know, Michael's, I think they changed the way they make it because my gold foil sheets felt like paper thin, a little bit thicker than printer paper. I think that's their old style of um, making them, which I actually do prefer for mailing purposes. But then the new ones I got, the silver foil felt a lot thicker. I think it was 80 pound. I'm not, um, don't quote me on that, but it's thicker than how they used to make it. So, but but I think like you won't have any issues as far as um, mailing it out. And another thing that I did to make the card stand out even more is I put foam tape on my uh, cut aparts just so it would stand out. And I think it really makes a huge difference when you use foam tape on um, cut aparts because, you know, if you're not stamping and you want your sentiment or your message to stand out, I think using foam tape helps. So my thought process here is I'm gonna mat everything and I didn't even use a sketch. I actually was just looking at my cut aparts and I said, okay, I'm gonna put this in the middle. I'm gonna put this on the right side. I just wanna put it tastefully in certain areas of my card and just changing it up left, right, you know, and then embellishing the cards with these beautiful silver 
foil pearls. I love how shiny they are and I love how they mimic the gold foil sheets. Um, for this particular card, I wanted to create somewhat of a wreath and I know that you can see the white glue um, oozing out from behind of my pearls, but um, the glue actually dries clear. So I wasn't worried about that. This, is, this glue is actually a really nice glue. I love it so much because it doesn't clog and um, I've had no issues with it. I also like the Tombow. That also dries clear. So I also have a bottle of the new Barely Art glue, but I haven't used it because um, the first bottle, my daughter actually... <laughs> she opened it and spilled it all over so I have a refill bottle but I don't have the actual bottle to um you know squeeze out you know the glue so I had to buy another one so that it'll be ready for me to use when these my lawn fawn and my tombow runs out so now for this card oh I actually also forgot to mention that even though I made 20 cards, I was only going to show you guys how I made one um, because, you know, it's just going to be too time consuming to show you the same card over and over. But um, I just wanted to show you guys like how easy these are and to give you ideas on making last minute cards. The assembling process for me took about 40 minutes, but for the planning and for the cutting and, you know the other stuff it did take a little while because of the designing aspect of it um, for me designing takes longer than actually putting the cards together if that made any sense now you can also step up this card by using fancy dies such as stitch dies or fancy scallop dies to actually just make it look like you spent so much time on it but you know all you need is a paper trimmer uh, pattern paper some cut aparts and you're done you know and Christmas is just right around the corner I'm really excited I love watching my girls open up their gifts it's the best part of Christmas for me so I just want to take the time and thank each and every one of you for supporting me since I started my YouTube journey and for those new subscribers who have just recently discovered me welcome I thank you so much and I really love reading everyone's comments who take the time to write me and say you've inspired me or oh I have this paper pad I'm gonna take it out because you know I got some ideas those types of comments really make my day and even the ones that you know when I crack you guys up you know because I'm really just a fun and easygoing person I love to laugh so anytime I can make someone laugh you know that makes my day too so I also want to say that since I'm making all of these 20 cards the first 20 people to email me and with their address I'm going to send you a random card from these 20 cards that I made. So just email me at craftymamadiaries at gmail.com. Now you can be anywhere in the world to get one of these cards. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that this card will make it to you on time before Christmas if you are international. I wish that there was a way that it can be, but I just can't guarantee that. But if it is in the U.S., then you you will more than likely receive this before Christmas. I will make sure to mail these out on um, um, next week. So if you email me your address and I respond to you, that's um, when you'll know that you are guaranteed to get one of these cards. So looking forward to sending out a little bit of happy mail to you guys as a thank you for just being there for me and supporting my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Another thing that I'm planning for next year is I'm going to set up a happy mail list. So since I do make a lot of cards, I, you know, want to show my gratitude to my viewers by sending you a uh, happy mail. Hopefully it will make you smile. It's going to be a surprise. You, you'll never know when you're going to get it. And then you, you're just going to see it in your mailbox and be like, oh, 
<laughs> you know, I love receiving happy mail, like, you know, from my friends and my crafty friends that I've met here on YouTube. It just makes me happy that they thought about me. And so, um, I pretty much gotten to know, like, not personally, but by name, a lot of my viewers, um, by name, like, so I know I can, if I recognize your, your tag handle, then I'll know who you are, especially if you comment a lot. Um, but I really love getting to know each and every one of you, um, because you're part of my, my, I guess, tribe here, my Crafty Mama Diaries tribe. Um, so yeah, I would love to do that for you guys and send you a little paper hug for me. So gosh, we're already on cards 18 and 19. So the last few cards that I made here did not include any foil sheets, although I did, do still have a lot of silver foiling. And so, but I just wanted to keep it simple this time. And I used just the cherry cobbler. And I really love this too, because it almost looks like a, like a rustic touch, if that makes any sense. And um, just a simple bow just makes this card, you guys. I love that black bow. It's so pretty. And then now we're on cards 19 and 20. Now these are the back of the cut aparts. And um, I didn't cut this apart because I actually liked the pattern papers that were together. And then I thought I initially was gonna put a, a um, ribbon in the center of that but I decided I wanted to use another uh paper from the pattern paper and I chose the green because my sentiment have hints of green on it and then I'm going to add the bow the black bow in the center and this I mean not bow ribbon this ribbon you guys is so pretty this is actually a halloween <laughs> ribbon but since the um pattern paper has um details of black on it i thought it would be perfect and it looks like lace and so i decided to use it and so here's where the green comes in i wanted to bring that green in for my um, background and so i placed it on the right side and then we're going to go ahead and adhere this on our card front and then I tied a bow from the same ribbon. I glued, I mean, I didn't glue it, but I did use glue dots to adhere my bows. And so that finishes up the 20 cards. I hope this gave you guys some ideas on how to make last minute Christmas cards for your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Bye.